Hi everyone, so in this video I will be using the Avogadro and JMO softwares to show you guys how to build structures and measure electrostatics of the said structures. So as you can see here, I've already got my Avogadro open. So you just go to the build section and then you do insert and then fragments. Um, and then you can type in benzene and then the bending ring will come up. Um, so this is just me adjusting the ring. You would just click the mouse option on top with the black mouse. Um, and this, this is just me getting it just right um, just to make sure the bonds are on the correct side. Um, because when it does come out, it comes out a little flipped. The software does not do it for you to make it more upright and just in the correct position. So here you just see me rotating it, just trying to get it just right. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and go back to the pen option and start drawing the bonds. So to get the different bonds connected to each other, you do have to click the actual atom. Um, sometimes you do have to end up zooming in to get it. Uh, just right just to click on the atom so that the bonds are connected if you're a little too zoomed out it'll just create another carbon bond um, and you want to make sure they're all connected because it's all one structure um, and then what I just did was I went to the oxygen uh, on the element option and then I just of course clicked from that bond to the carbon and then I don't know if you guys caught that but you just double click on the bond to make it a double bond um, and then as you can see right here I'm trying to click on the actual carbon bond and it's just not working out um, because my mouse was probably too far away due to the zoom um, so yeah you do have to be careful when doing that it can be a little frustrating but just try to get as close to the carbon atom with your mouse as you can right in that center um, and here I am just drawing another oxygen bond, just like the structure calls for. And then just drawing the structure. Um, so that's what you're going to see me doing for the next few seconds. Um, and then, like I said, you can just go to the element button and change to whatever element it calls for next. Um, you could also do like the bond order and click a double bond instead of single but it's just so much easier to click the bond again um, and just have that be um, your double bond because it just forms another bond within it um, and yeah so that is what I'm doing so for this portion of the video um, I did go ahead and just speed it up a little bit uh, this is just me adding the second benzene ring um, and then for the remainder of this clip you're just gonna see me attaching it to the carbon right at the end and then just trying to adjust it in the right way um, when it comes to Avogadro it is a little tedious as you can see that bond was just not looking the way I wanted to look and then I accidentally flipped it um, so if this happens to you guys feel free to just use this section of the video as a tutorial as well um, just so you can see if you made the same mistake as me with like flipping it and the angles going all weird you can also undo that um, getting to flip it back in its direction um, this is just me playing around with it um, of course, just showing examples of the different functions in order to make sure that I have it at the right angle and the attachment doesn't look weird or as that like 3D, uh, you know, image that you're seeing as I move the benzene ring around. So now we are going to start the process of creating the electrostatic surface. Um, this will just make it easier for us to copy and paste this into our JMOL software once we get there. So these are just the settings that I am uh, choosing just to create that uh, surface. It does take a few tries uh, just because the Avogadro's uh, software does act up a little bit. Um, it will crash sometimes, um, stuff like that. So if it does, of course, you can always just rewatch this part just to get it back and going. Um, so at this time, it was giving me a little bit of difficulty. So I tried to kind of just uh, re 
set everything, um, choose different settings. And now it's finally loading. After it does load, it does take a second uh, for that new surface to load back up. As you can see, it didn't make any changes. So I just went ahead and went back and did it again. And while I'm in this menu, uh, the surface does end up populating, uh, which you will see in a second. So now, as you can see, the surface has finally populated. Um, so now I'm just going to kind of mess with the structure a little bit just to show you guys how it looks. Um, and just kind of zoom in, zoom out, just show you, you know, now it looks a little gritty right here. Um, as you like long hold the structure, uh, just to show you what bonds lay under that, because as you can see, since uh, the new surface is so thick, uh, you can't really see what's going on in there unless you do uh, go ahead and like hold your mouse over it. Um, so right now I'm just kind of messing with the settings and then trying to change the background color so that it's just a little easier to see uh, the electrostatic surface now. Um, I'm just highlighting the positive and the negatives of the structure, just kind of playing around with the uh, colors, the settings, stuff like that. So now right here, I am just going to change the background color. I do feel like it's a little easier to see on the white background. Um, so I feel like it makes it just very transparent. Now it's evident uh, or just easier to see the structure itself uh, through that electrostatic surface. So that's all I did uh, just to show you guys how it looks under, make it a little bit easier to see, stuff like that. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to start getting the structure ready to be pasted into the uh, JMOL software. So to do this, we are just going to do save as, and it does need to be saved as MOL2 uh, for it to be opened in that JMOL software. So I just titled it untitled just because I was working with it as soon as I saved it. Um, so now by this point I did save it to a folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that to the JMOL software that I already had open. When you already have this software open, um, it just opens to this black screen. So there's nothing too special to do. So now, uh, we do have that pasted in JMOL, so we're just going to go to the Surfaces tab and we're going to go ahead and click that Molecular Electrostatic Potential. Um, I just pressed All. It gives you the same structure as it would if you were to press the one above it. Um, so now I'm just playing around, showing you guys the surfaces, uh, twisting that structure around, etc. And yeah. So now by this point, we're just going to click on file and go to script editor. Uh, so for this script editor, all we're going to do is we're just simply going to change the ISO surface uh, colors. So all I'm doing is just changing the range of the ISO surfaces. So for this one, I put a negative 0 0.05 uh, to, to positive 0 0.05. Um, map MEP and then um, there is another one that I'm typing about the um, translucent uh, color so this is all I'm doing just to see like the different ranging colors kind of play with it and as you can kind of see from the side the color did change um, so this is just me playing around with it and then I type in another range and 
I uh, go ahead and just show you guys that as well. Okay, and this marks the end of our video. I really hope it was easy for you guys to follow along, and I hope you find this tutorial to be beneficial for you guys.